Hello everyone. So let's talk about the diameter of encircle lemma. It starts with this triangle ABC. So take any triangle ABC rather. And then let's draw the encircle of this triangle. Now I'll not go into the construction of encircle because that's part of a different video. You can check in the link in the description. It is constructed by joining the angle bisectors of a triangle and wherever they meet that point is known as the in center and then you can draw a circle which touches all the sides of the triangle and that particular circle is known as the in circle. Let's say the point of tangency of the in circle with the sides of the triangle are DE and F. We will join DI, we will produce it to meet the circle again at the point M. Now, finally, let's join AM and produce it to meet BC at the point N. So produce it to meet BC at the point N. Our goal is to show that BN is equal to CD. The length of BN is equal to the length of CD. Why don't you pause the video and give this a try? It's not hard at all, but you have to see this in the context of a geometric transformation called homotheti. So we will learn about that as well. Let's go to the next board and try to draw this picture a little bit differently. This time, I will extend the sides a, B, and C, A, B, and A, C, and I will draw the X circle of this particular triangle. So, X circle, if you have not seen this before, is created when you join the external angle bisectors. And they meet at a point, let's call this point IA. So this X circle is taken like this. It, it is centered at IA, the intersection point of the angle bisectors. And this is the radius. You drop a perpendicular from IA to BC. That is the radius. And this circle becomes tangent to these two extended sides and BC. Okay. All right, so this is the X circle and we have the in circle like this. Okay, all right. And what we, so this is D, E and F. This is the in center, which is point I. which is the point I and in center is the intersection point of the angle bisectors of the triangle ABC. So 
can you show that a i and i a are on same straight line can you show that this is a elementary geometry problem you can put a comment in the description with your solution okay so we will if we if you can show that then this is the line segment and i will join this point with ia as well and let's call this point of tangency r okay so notice that triangle afi is similar to triangle a i a r this little triangle is similar to this big triangle why is that well that's because this is a 90 degree this is a 90 degree so these two angles are 90 degree and this angle is common which is a by 2 so the triangles must be similar which means that a r over a f is equals to i a r over i f so the ratio of these two are equal to the ratio of these two and that's equal to a i a over a i so that's equal to the ratio of these two okay so what how does that help what you can do is you can think of this x circle as the blown up version of this in circle imagine that the in circle is expanding it's getting large and while it does that each point in the in circle is traveling to some other point on this x circle with respect to this point a this is the homotheity point the center of homotheity so with respect to a af this length af got expanded to ar so af got expanded to ar now since ar over af is equals to aia over ai ai got expanded to ai got expanded to aia that's what's happening ai got larger got expanded to aia in the same ratio as af got expanded to ar so this circle in circle got expanded to the x circle right here that's the key idea that the in circle in circle got expanded to the x circle and that happens through this homotheity so now i will describe what i mean by the word homotheity i think you got an idea what i mean by that but i'll just quickly describe it one more time suppose you have a figure a b c and you have a center called o which is known as the center of homotheity now what you do is you take each point of this triangle abc and expand it or sort of move it in such a way that the o to the image point divided by o to the initial point this ratio is always same this is constant so for example if a is the initial point if a is the initial point and if a is taken to a prime so we want oa prime by oa to be constant what do i mean by that well if i take ob to ob prime if i take ob to ob prime i would want this to be equal to ob prime by ob so 
we have this. So this is known as a similarity transformation. This is known as a similarity transformation. So we learn these things in our Math Olympiad program at length because similarity transformations are very important for problem solving. So now this is the this white triangle is the image of this red triangle under this homotheti. Homotheti is the transformation that takes ABC to this A prime B prime C prime and we have these ratios to be constant O to the image point divided by O to the initial point this ratio is constant. So this is the meaning of homotheti. It's a transformation that takes initial points starting points to some image point such that this condition is this condition is preserved O to the initial point divided by O to the final point the image point is constant. Okay. And what we just did here, we showed that that this green circle is being transformed to this white circle. This green circle is being transformed to this white circle by the homotheti. Okay. It's fantastic. You can sort of mentally see that the green circle is sort of pushed toward the uh, white circle. The green circle is sort of pushed toward the white circle as it expands in size. The center is sent to the center and the point F is sent to the point R. How do we know that? Well, because by similar triangles that we proved, AF by AR or AR by AF is equals to AIA by AI. So this is, you can think of this I and F as the initial point and you can think of R and IA as the final point or the image point and A as the center of homotheti. And once the center and this point is taken, you can now show that the entire circle is taken to the entire green circle is taken to the white circle. Can you rigorously give an argument for that? And how would you show that when you if you come back to the problem of diameter of in circle how do you show that this point n is basically this point right here how do you show this is the required point n what what do i mean by that well if you expand the the e the i to meet the circle again at m then a m will meet BC at N, the point of tangency of the X circle. How do you show that? It's uh, give it a try uh, and think about it. I'll post another video describing why this point N, where AM meets the side BC, is actually the point of tangency. If you use homotheti to complete the proof. Why don't you put the comment in the description and I will see you in the next video where we complete this proof. Okay. Thank you for watching.